Hi, fifth graders. Um, we are going to start modeling matter today. And as I've told you before, I, this is a really fun unit. Um, it's about atoms and molecules, about things that are too small for us to see with our eyes. Um, and today we're going to do an initial explanatory model. So, oops, it's going to advance my slide. Here we go. Okay, so um, the subtitle of this unit is called the chemistry of food. So it's a chemistry unit. And one of the thing, fun things we're going to do is a lot of um, like hands-on experiments, which I know that you guys are really excited to do. Um, it's about matter. And matter is just the stuff that everything around us is made of, including food. So everything is made of matter. Um, and then we've got a nice little picture, a photograph of a scientist in um, a lab checking out what's probably a mixture of some sort. So we'll be talking about mixtures too. So we're going to take a close look at food, not just as something tasty to eat, but also as something interesting to study. Um, and we're going to be talking about a science job called a food scientist. And I actually have a friend who's a food scientist. She works for Ivers. Um, uh, and she studies the foods and the recipes that they develop to um, make and sell at their restaurants. Her name is Meredith. Uh, so if you're looking at these pictures, I want you to take a moment to think about where um, food scientists work. So I just told you about my friend Meredith who works at Ivers and she mostly works in like a commercial kitchen that's almost that's also kind of like a lab. Um, but here we've got two pictures of um, food scientists. One is looking at an ear of corn out in the field and the other one is looking at um, some data on a computer and it looks like it's microscopic data um, so maybe something that's too small to see with just her eyes. So she has to use some tools to examine it. Um, and if you want to take a look at these pictures, um, we've got this woman who, scientist who is um, picking up a, what looks like a seed or a bean um, and examining it. So some keen, um, observation skills. And then that little tool that's in the bottom image is called a pipette. You guys will get to use one of those um, a couple times in this unit. And um, it's kind of like a like a baster if you've ever used a like a turkey baster where you squeeze the bulb at the top and then the, the liquid um, is kind of sucked up through the tube. Um, so it's kind of like a miniature version of that. So I want you to think about why do you think food scientists want to find out about the food that they study? Why would they want to find out about the food they study? Maybe um, for some uh, information about the nutritional value of the food, maybe like the shelf stability of the food, like how long it can last without being refrigerated or um, before it spoils. Um, maybe how expensive it would be to produce. So those are all reasons that scientists study food. Um, maybe the effect on the body, um, whether it's safe for humans to eat or dogs or whoever is going to eat it. So for the next few weeks, we're going to take on the role as food scientists for a company called Good Food Production Incorporated. So this is just like Patterns of Earth and Sky when we did it in the fall, where it's kind of like this simulated experience that um, where we're pretending to solve a problem. And we're actually going to solve the problem. It's just, it's, just a, it's just a pretend problem. So we're going to create um, initial models first. So the first side of your model is um, side A, and that's page one in your journal. So remember, we made our journals yesterday, and then this is page one in your journal. And it says, we are starting a unit called, called Modeling Matter, the Chemistry of Food, 
This unit is about matter, which is the stuff that everything around us is made of, including food. We will take a close look at food, not just as something tasty to eat, but also something interesting to study. Hmm, I just read that, didn't I? Um, and then in the box, it says to draw and write about something in your life this reminds you of. So um, when we're talking about the chemistry of food, making food, um, mixing food, um, things that make up food, uh, studying food, observing food, properties of food, um, properties of matter, um, just the word chemistry. It can be any of those things. It's kind of just like, what does this actually make me think of? Um, and, and you just draw a picture and then write about that experience in, in the, on the lines. So everybody in here has experience with food. If you didn't, you would not be alive. So um, I want you to think about your experience with food and it's kind of just like you can draw and write about whatever you want here. So with the other side is about our big problem, our phenomenon, okay, that we're gonna be studying. And the phenomenon we're gonna be studying is these two dressings, okay? So um, I want you to kind of like look at these two dressings and think about like how, what, how are they the same and how are they different? And they're very similar to the two dressings I have right here. So I have this one, which looks kind of like the one that is on the right. And I have this one, which is kind of, where's the camera? There it is, um, which is kind of like the one that is on, no, sorry, this one's like the one that's on your left. And this one's like the one that's on your right, okay? Um, so I want you to think about those observations that you can make about those two dressings. And once you think about that, um, and I'll have, there's a picture of that same picture is in your Schoology assignment. Um, I want you to um, explain why one of the salad dressings looks the way that it does and why the salad dressing, the other salad dressing looks the way it does, okay? And we um, will call the salad dressings one and two. So um, if you look at the one on the left, we'll call that number one. And then if you look at the one on the right, we'll call that dressing number two, okay? Um, so you'll see that it says to draw the two salad dressings and, and describe why they are different. And then it says, be sure to draw in the zoom in of what is happening that we can't see. So that little circle with the like arrow pointing that's like a zoom in. It's like if you went zoomed way in, so say you had like a microscope, what would it look like? Um, and so you're going to explain why the salad dressing looks the way it does. You can put words, labels, um, questions. Questions are always good on models because remember questions show what you know. They don't show what you don't know. They show what you know and what you're thinking about and what you're wondering about. So. Um, you're going to draw and color the dressings, draw and color what you think is going on microscopically, and then um, like zooming in, and then um, you're going to write about why it looks the way it does, and you can also describe it there too, okay? So getting as much thinking on these two sides of paper as you can is what I'm looking for. So as many ideas, as much thinking, and because no, none of your thinking is wrong. It's all valid. It just needs to be on the paper. So spend a good amount of time working on this and really putting your thoughts down about it. And we're gonna solve why these two, over the course of the unit, we'll solve why these two dressings look different. Like what is going on that's making these two dressings look different? And that's it. So I am excited to see your models. We're going to share them on Monday. So I'm really excited to see them and to talk with you about them and to find out all your great ideas about this. And I will see you guys Monday and be really good for your substitute. Okay.
Bye.